Howdy y'all, I'm Brylan. Do you remember all those Christian bands of yesteryear? Yesteryear, back when the music was pure, that used to have morals and would sing about God and actually make Christian music because they were Christian bands. Do you remember a time when you didn't have to worry about society and the culture infecting every part of Christianity? every part of the church and worship music. Well, thinking back to yesteryear isn't doing much good when you see stories like this. DC Talks Kevin Max tweets support for Pride Month. So we're gonna look deeper into this story, but you know, it's not just today. This isn't a recent phenomenon where Christian music and the Christian music industry is really taking a hard turn south away from pointing to God and instead pointing to self and pointing to culture and the things around us. You know, you, you go to a, a worship concert and you're worshiping the worship leader, not God. This isn't new phenomenon, so when you really look, you open your eyes and you see a lot of these bands back in you know 80s, really started to kick up in the 90s and early 2000s. A lot of these bands were really leading the way for what we're seeing today, which is a Christian music industry that has nothing to do with Christianity. The more that time goes on, the more we start to find out about people's true beliefs, motives, intentions. Now that's not to say that all Christian music artists and all worship leaders are bad, but I do think that there is a huge, a huge takeover going on in this industry that is really leading an entire industry away from God. Real quick, I want to take a few seconds and tell you about today's sponsor. It's the Daily Grace Company. What a wonderful company this is. If you need Bible study tools, journals, books and guides, prayer cards, Bibles, as well as highlighters, all kinds of things to grow in your relationship with the Lord, then check out our link in the description below. When you use our link, it helps this channel out. We would really appreciate it. Would you mind joining this community by hitting that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up button as well. When you like this video, YouTube pushes it out to more people. And check out our Patreon page in the link below. Thank you to everybody who supports us over on Patreon and a special thanks to Tom Hoppins. So let's look into this article that has to do with one of the founding members of DC Talk, Kevin Max, tweets support for Pride Month. Now this is nothing new. Kevin Max has been off the rails for quite a while. He hasn't claimed to be a true Christian in years and years and years. If really ever, actually, I, I read that he used to feel like a black sheep even back in the heyday of DC Talk. So this is nothing new for Kevin Max. The father of four children, whom he shares with his wife Amanda, followed up his tweet by describing his daughter as an activist. Hippie cool, empathetic, beautiful, loves nature and animals in a poetic way, and a prolific painter. In response to the tweet, Christian band Hawk Nelson's former lead singer John Steingard, who announced his departure from Christianity in 2020, told Max, I love how well you love your family. So when you're leading your family, you're leading your own daughter into a way of destruction. That, that's, that's horrible. Let's pray for her salvation and Kevin Max's salvation. It's never too late. But if you remember, John Steingard, who was a part of Hawk Nelson, which was a Christian band from many years ago, he came out and deconstructed his faith, said that he was no longer a Christian, something Kevin Max has done as well, deconstructed his faith. In fact, Kevin Max calls himself an ex-evangelical, which is what uh, you know, a lot of these Christian music singers are starting to do. They're starting to come out of the woodworks and say, you know what, we're ex-evangelical, which means we're no longer Christians, we're no longer evangelicals, we no longer believe in the God of the Bible. Although Kevin Max does say that he believes in the, the universal God. One of Max's many followers thanked him for this statement and shared, you and your music have inspired me for years and this makes me love you even 
more. Max has been a big supporter of Semler, an outspoken LGBTQ musician who has taken over the number one spot on the Christian iTunes charts more than once. So if you're not familiar with Semler, I'll show you who that is here. This person, uh, they they are coming in and just being uh, praised and lifted up in the Christian music sphere as brave and starting a new path of Christianity that goes directly against scripture. Excited for you, this breakthrough, Grace Baldridge. It's high time Christian music got a shake up with a message of reality and hope beyond the homogenized CCM. Kevin Max is a huge fan of basically anything that is anti-Bible, anti-Christianity. Uh, the Jesus Freak singer also congratulated Semler when she was actually announced to be opening for Reliant K. Do you remember that Christian band? Yes, Reliant K. Man, I haven't heard of them in years. This is not surprising. The Christian music industry has been filled and infiltrated by people who really do not have a relationship with Jesus for many, many years because maybe they couldn't make it in the secular industry so they came over and did what they could do and made it in the Christian music industry. And the thing is, is that Kevin Max is still close to the other members of DC Talk, like Toby Mac and Michael Tate. It just really makes you wonder, like, why are we fellowshipping with people who flat out deny the God of the Bible? The Bible warns against this. Yes, we need to be a witness to the world. We need to be a witness to those who don't know the gospel, don't know Jesus Christ personally. But when it comes to those who have claimed to know Jesus, you know, you have to question whether they were truly ever saved at all, and then come out and deny Jesus, should we try to encourage them and lift them up and bring them back to Christ? Yes, but if they flat out deny it and continue on with heresies, mocking the God of the Bible, then we shouldn't be feeding into that and continuing on in fellowship and and you know they're still working together they planned a reunion tour what is that going to do what you're going to have kevin mack come out and sing to the universal god how does that work dc talk the bible's very clear proverbs 13 20 whoever walks with the wise becomes wise but the companion of fools will suffer harm second timothy 4 3 through 4 for the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching but having itching ears their ears itch for something else because they desire to have something that is a god made in the image of self something that they can personally feel that they connect to in a way that is selfish and that has to do with them being their own God and not submitting to the God of the Bible. They will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. You know, that's exactly what it sounds like Kevin Max has done here is that he's wandered off into myths. He is an activist. He lifts up culture and people and us and self above all. And that's what his God is. And it's been that way since you've been listening to them way back in the 90s. And you know, this isn't the only story of a Christian band that has gone off the rails. It is running rampant in the Christian music industry. And you know what? We're going to have a video coming out on the Christian music industry and really exposing a lot of the sin and shame going on in that industry. And we're going to have a video on that very soon. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and be a part of this community with us so you don't miss that video and you don't miss any of our videos. We post content almost every single day. We'd love to have you be a part of it. And hit that thumbs up button as well. When you like this video, YouTube pushes it out to more people. And don't forget to check out our Patreon page. It'll be linked in the description below. You can go over there and see all the cool benefits you get for joining a tier over there. We'd really appreciate your support. All right, y'all. See you in the next one. Bye.